Do you ever wish for a color gel to have advantages of thick consistency gel, stay where you apply it and not flood the cuticle area, but self-level at the same time? Me too. And looks like I found the one. In this video, I'm going to do colorful nails for St. Valentine's Day and unpack color gel kit from Savvyland. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Anastasia. Let's unpack Savvyland Color Gel Kit. It includes 36 color gel paints. No, actually twice than that, which is 72 color gel paints. And there's something else at the bottom of the box, which is nail art brushes set. Let's take a closer look at the gel paints. Each jar is 6 grams, which is not a lot, but according to the quality of the color, which you will see in a few moments, this is actually enough. It is sealed with this aluminum seal, so I didn't have any leaks. And take a look at the consistency. It actually feels like a medium-thin consistency, I would even say more like thin. I already have some experience working with this gel, because I did a review of 36 color kit of Savvyland, and this is the swatch from the last time. That's why we are not going to do the full swatch this time. If you would like to see the detailed color swatch, I will leave the link to this previous video. But I still would like to try a couple colors to see the consistency and the coverage of the gel. I always use clear tips because this is the better way to see the coverage of the gel. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of color gel paints in the jar because you need to use an additional brush, it's not as fast and convenient when you're using the color from the bottle, but take a look at this consistency and coverage. This is only one coat on top of the clear tip, like wow. Let's check out another color just to make sure that they have a similar qualities and it's hard to describe this kind of consistency because like I said, it's kind of thin, but also it's not too runny. So it's super comfortable to apply it. I think you can see it on the camera. I'm simply applying just one coat and it has a great coverage and we definitely do not need a second one. I mean, one coat is all we need. The kit mostly includes traditional cream colors, but there are also six glitter colors and I wanted to try them because I didn't have them in my previous kit. I really like this dark blue color and it seems like consistency is even thicker compared to regular colors. I can already tell that this glitter gel has a clear base, which means it doesn't have any basic color. That's why it looks transparent. From this point, we have two options. We can apply the second or even third coat or simply use blue as the background and this is how we get a beautiful shiny color. These are five glitter colors and this is what they look like when you apply two coats. But like I said, my favorite part of this kit is definitely traditional colors. And I decided that it is time to do a new color on myself, even though it's too early for a fill because I had my nails about 10 days ago. But I can simply take off this color and do another one, right? I think last time I did that, it was like many years ago when I was practicing on myself and learning like crazy. And I think I was changing my color and manicure and taking my nails off and doing them over and over, like every week or something. Let me know if you did the same when you just started doing nails. Back then I used mostly regular nail polishes and I remember that I had trouble applying colors like black, white, classic red and I realized that I need more practice. So I asked my mom and a couple of my friends if they are willing to come over to my place every day and I'm going to change the color and they can pick any color that they like and they enjoyed it a lot. They were like, wow, now I have a new color every day. It had great benefits for all of us, they had a new manicure every day and I had a lot of practice. I think after a month or so I wasn't afraid of using bright and dark colors anymore. Meanwhile, I took off the color and realized I have a small crack on my thumb and I turned it into a big crack so I can later fix it with a clear poly gel. And poly gel is one of the easiest and fastest way to fix things like that, well, acrylic also works. 
I need to fill not only the missing area but also the area around it so it is going to stay and do not press too much because you definitely do not want this poly gel to squeeze inside of the nail I mean like the other side and yes we can later file it off but it is better to do everything with a brush then we cure and it is time for the design as much as I enjoy bright and pastel colors applying white color as the background was always such a stress for me but not with this gel just take a look at this the consistency is so thick that it allows me to get really close to the cuticle area without flooding or touching it and then i simply apply the color on the rest of the nail wow this is one of the most satisfying color application i did recently and the best part is that you can see this little brush strokes as i apply it but if you wait for a few seconds they're going to self-level so i think this is one of the most comfortable colors i've ever applied so take a look at this again I'm pushing the product close to the cuticle. I'm not doing this cuticle line with a brush. I simply push the product and then I gently apply it to the rest of the nail. If I would do white manicure, we would need a second coat, but since this is the background, one will be enough. Colors I picked for the design. Honestly, I'm a little tired of the glitter, dark and fall colors already, so I'm in a mood of more like spring and even summer colors. So I do a stroke, so for different colors, I'm not curing any color. This is very important. And you can choose any colors that match, any colors that you like. Then I use the ombre brush and with a very, very light touch and light strokes, I blend them, but not completely because my goal is not to do an ombre. I just want to slightly blend them together so we will get some kind of a tie dye. If you want to see more of the certain color, such as yellow or mint, it is better to apply this color the last one. If you would like to use brighter and darker shades, I would say go for it. It is going to work out as well, but if you use a darker colors, you will need a bit more time to blend them and do not use them a lot. With light colors such as yellow, pink and mint, you do not need to worry, but with darker colors, you will simply need more blending. And the best part is if you feel like you need more of the color that you did not add, you can always add it on top. Once again, we do not cure until we're fully happy with the pattern that we see. So I apply all the strokes and they're not cured. That's why it is so easy to blend them all together. Since I've been using Savaland products for a while, including color gels, I tried them for different nail art and they're super cool for one color application. I have to say that this product is great and the price is very affordable. There's one thing you need to keep in mind. These are gel paints, so technically this is some kind of a color hard gel, so you cannot apply it directly on the natural nail. You need to have whether hard gel or acrylic or poly gel overlay underneath or on top of extensions. They also work great on top of soft gel extensions. I think I did this camo design last time I tried this kit. So any kind of extensions or overlays, okay? This is not a gel polish, this is color gel. Would I recommend it for beginners? 100%. As you've seen it, the color application is super easy and comfortable, so I think it is great for one color as well as for the nail art. 
This kind of medium thin consistency works great for most types of nail art such as ombre, multicolor, blending, abstract and all kind of detailed nail art. Actually I am going to try this one once we cure the nails. So then I cure it for one minute. This design could be finished at this point, right? But it will be a bit boring, so let's add more. I'm going to seal it with a top coat and no wipe top coat and freeze cure it for 15 seconds. And then I decided to use a green chrome powder. I wanted to try this chrome pearl look on top of the multicolor pastel nails for quite a while. And now I think this is going to be the perfect time. Since we have several colors underneath, I think basically any shade of the chrome powder is going to work great, but it is better if you have at least one color that is matching. So the chrome powder that I'm using is mostly green, and I also have a green color underneath. All right, I really like them this way, but St. Valentine's Day is coming and I also wanted to try the black gel paint to see if it's going to work for detailed nail art. Let's do the word love on my index finger. So first I do a very thin lines as the sketch and then I'm going to outline them. Oh my God, by the way, I have a terrible handwriting. Recently I needed to write something down and I realized that I almost do not know how to do that because I write everything down on my phone. I use notes all the time, you know, voice memos. And I just realized that we stopped doing something that is handwritten anymore. So I definitely need to do more practice on that. I will do a heart on my middle finger. And since I have some pink shades on my design, I'm going to outline it and add some details using magenta color as well. So I have to say that this gel paint is suitable for detailed nail art as well. You may not be able to do a super tiny, super small lines, for that you will need a thicker consistency gel paint, but for object like this it definitely works. But once you do the first line and you're happy with it, it is better to freeze cure it right away. Nail Art Brushes Kit also includes a tiny dotting tool, which is going to work great for super small hearts. And this is an easy trick on how to do this. First you do a tiny dot and then you do another one right next to it and then the third one. And then you simply connect them with the same dotting tool and this is how we get a tiny heart. Cure it for one minute and then I'm going to seal it with a no wipe top coat. You may use non-acid primer on the free edge to do a better adhesion so the chrome powder is not going to peel. And this is the final look. Let me know guys what do you think, I will leave the links to this kit in my description box as usual. Thank you so much for watching, if this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials and product reviews just like this one every week. See you in my next one, goodbye!